library friends welcome back to another edition of new favorites this time we're going to be profiling our j fiction collection so we have here some of the uh, new ones that we have just gotten in and a couple that were from earlier in the year of uh, 2020 but i wanted to show them to you anyway for some very important reasons so um j fiction is basically obviously we know what fiction is and um j fiction is going to be covering those grades probably about third grade all the way up till about sixth grade um, we cover a pretty wide gamut there and um, pretty much we have something for everybody we have uh, mysteries we have um, scary stories we have realistic fiction we have science fiction um, we have fables we have all different kinds of stuff so I'm going to show you a few things today and hopefully you'll find something that tickles your fancy and you might want to give it a try. So just pointing out, this is one of the earlier ones. This is the one and only Bob. So for all of you who may have read um, a Newbery winner, uh, the one and only Ivan about the gorilla that lived in the uh, mall. This is the story of his friend, Bob, the little dog that um, befriends him while he's there. And it's Bob's own story. So um, Catherine Applegate uh, did a, a follow-up to kind of explore Bob's story. And he's such a cute little dog. And you find out all of the things of the reasons why Bob was the way he was in The One and Only Ivan. So if you loved Ivan, I am sure you're going to love The One and Only Bob. So definitely check that out. Okay. Then we have some really cool, this one's a little bit of a fantasy. It's called The Forest of Stars. And I'll read you the little bit of the book jacket here. Left all alone after her mother passes away, 12-year-old Louisa LaRoche watches the sky for her father. Long ago, a powerful gust of wind swept through the town, stealing him away on the wings of his untamed magic, the same magic that stirs within Louisa. As if she's made of hollow bones and too much air, her feet never quite touch the ground. But for all her sky gazing, Louisa finds her fortune on the leaf strewn street when she spots a gleaming black and gold invitation, a ticket to the carnival beneath the stars. If her father fits in nowhere else, maybe she'll find him there. Dazzling crowds along with other strange and wonderful feats. Soon after she arrives, the tight walk act ends disastrously and suspiciously. As fate tugs Louisa closer to the stars, she must decide if she's willing to slip into the injured performer's role, despite the darkness plucking at the carnival's magical threads. So, got a lot of fantasy going on in here, a lot of magic going on in here. So this one might be good if you're kind of looking for that just a little bit spooky type of story. So that's the forest of the stars. Then we go to some sci-fi right over here. This is The Unexplained Disappearance of Mars Patel, okay? So we have the kids are disappearing from H.G. Wells Middle School and the adults don't seem to care. So this one was actually a award-winning podcast and it is going to be a mystery series. So if you're looking for a new sci-fi kind of story that you wanna dive into and also one that is not written exactly in prose the way you would normally see. We have some pages that look normal here, but then as you go on, you're going to get some computer screens, podcasts, and actual text screens. So it kind of breaks things up a little bit. So if you're looking for a story like that, that might be a good one to try. Um, Lois Lowry is always good. And we have three actually here by Lois Lowry. This one's called On the Horizons, and this is actually historical fiction. Um, it's a World War II reflection story. So if you like historical fiction and World War II, this one would be great. And of course, Lois Lowry is awesome. She's also done The Willoughbys, and that is going to be actually a Netflix adaptation. So if you're into Netflix and you're watching and you wanna read the books, we've got the books right here for you, okay? We also have a lot of books that are featuring animals as our main characters. We have another, uh, Cynthia Cahota. She's one of my favorite authors, um, Saucy. And as you can tell, it's going to be about a little pig and how much trouble this little itty bitty pig can get into, you'll find out. 
And then we also have this other series, which is kind of like an easy chapter series. So this one's going to be on the younger side called Good Dog. And um, it's come some adventures of Bo Davis, who's a good dog with a heart of gold. And again, you can see kind of that easy series, easy um, chapter book. And he's just so adorable. So you can take a look at those if you're interested. Another kind of easier series is Vlad, the world's worst vampire. So that's a real fun, silly one that you can kind of dive into. And we do have all four of the books so far. And um, he's not a very brave vampire. He's even a bit scared of the dark. So you may want to give that one a try as well, okay? Speaking of sequels and things like that, we have The Treasure Hunters. So Chris Patterson and, uh, or sorry, James Patterson and Chris Gravenstein. Um, this is Treasure Hunters, The Plunder Down Under. So this is book seven in the Treasure Hunter series. So if you've read any of those, you'll know that um, the new one was coming out and you'll, you'll definitely want to take a look at that. That's kind of like an adventure series, um, along with, of course, James Patterson's trademark humor, Chris Gravenstein's trademark humor. Stink, we love Stink. So. We've got all of the stink books and so this one is the the hairy scary spider so again an easier chapter book and if you know judy moody this is her little brother stink so this is another series that if you're looking to get into a series you can kind of check out um, mike lupica who's also another really prolific uh children's writer this one's called the turnover um, always kind of bases his things in sports so if you're a sports kid and you want to read a story about um, kind of just going through what happens when you go through sports, right? So um, this one, he is Lucas Winston, shares a lot with his gramps. They both love basketball. They both love LeBron James. And Lucas's team, which Gramp coached, he coached to victory. So he couldn't be more pleased when Gramps is coaching him this again this year. But there are some secrets. So he stumbles on something that he might not want to know. So you can take a look at that um, based in basketball, but a story really between a boy and his grandfather. All right. Now this one I saved for last. There's a lot here. I don't want to talk your ear off, but you can see there's a lot of really good stuff to choose from. And if you need some suggestions, you can always give us a call here at the library. We're here to help. And we will be opening up on February 1st. So hopefully you'll be able to come in and kind of browse some of these yourself. Um, but I wanted to show off this one because this, we just found out, was the Newberry winner for last year. So this was chosen as the best book from 2020, uh, written by an American author. Okay, so this is called When You Trap a Tiger by Tay Keller. Really great story. Um, two sisters, uh, a mom who um, traveled to go be with their grandmother and they find out why they're doing that. They're kind of uprooting their lives and going to, to be with their grandmother, um, who they are a Korean family, and um, she is struggling with some health issues, so that's why they've gone up to, to be with her. But she tells the most amazing stories, and um, the younger sister uh, really is struggling to try to figure out how much of these stories are true and how much they are fantasy and maybe how much they kind of meet in the middle and how what she can do to, to help um, her grandmother. So this one was a really great story. Obviously, it's gonna have a nice big gold shiny medal right here on the cover soon when we get them in. And you may wanna check that out as the best book, Newbery Award winner from 2020. All right, you guys, I hope you found some of these interesting. I hope you are going to maybe come and check these out. And we always are still going to do book bundles if you're uncertain about coming in. So that's fine, too. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll see you all very soon. And you'll find some new J fiction to dive into. We'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.